Howdy, 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 my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Scorpio, for May 2022, okay? Be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, darling, Scorpio, to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific as well, honey. Be sure to check out my weekly pick a card tarot reading that I upload every single Sunday, all right? So let's see what's going on, what's good, what's popping with you right now, Scorpio, okay? In regards to the doors, the uh, opening up for you, the opportunities happening for you, Scorpio, we have the Sun energy, darling, all right? The best tarot card in the deck here things are finally starting to look up for you here cancer or cancer scorpio i apologize <laughs> all my children i have 12 children honey i always mix up y'all's names all right um yeah with the sun energy here i feel as if things are it's i get like this sensation when i think about this for your point of view uh scorpio is that it's like having the sun finally like touching your skin after being in like a cold basement for so long i know that's oddly morbid and specific uh scorpio but that's what i get i feel as if um you guys have been like going through like a long like battle like a long just like ruthless <laughs> honey i can't even speak right now i'm so overwhelmed now um a ruthless journey all right so you 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 were almost brought down you were almost defeated at one point in time scorpio i feel and then uh thing you rise still you rise right still you rise isn't that maya angelou still i rise all right anyways in regards to your social relationships here uh scorpio uh so romantic platonic family honey work situation we have the hierophant coming in here okay and so the hierophant is known as that traditional like devoted energy uh scorpio this is giving me you know like someone showing for their commitment i feel as if your uh connections those that you feel close to currently uh scorpio there's going to be things that happen this week that really solidify your connection with your persons all right and i this is more than just romance darling all right while this is known as the Card of marriage, Scorpio. This is just where it's like, as like things start looking up for you, it's like you start winning and then everyone else around you starts winning as well. All right. And it's, I feel as if you're going to have a better understanding about how the depths of someone's emotions towards you, Scorpio. Okay. And then just your heads up for this week, Scorpio. We come in here, honey, with this death card coming in. All right. Just the heads up. And so really this is like spirits letting you know uh scorpio being like hey darling you have a lot of good things going on all right long term darling you got things like you know you are in the up leveling process all right but it's almost as if like you start having the sun touching your skin you're starting to finally be able to like relax your muscles unclench your jaw relaxing your shoulders scorpio all right um you managed everything that you needed to manage all right you still have this death energy where it's like loose ends being tied up it's like some like energy that um because i get the sense uh for some of you scorpios you did some cord cutting you did something f uh very final uh where it's like no longer someone something having access to your energy or a multitude of things some of you guys uh scorpio either did a cord cutting ritual recently or you recently claimed back your energy from anything and anyone recently all right but there's still just like some small like edits things that need to just be loose ends needing to be tied up all right so don't be frustrated when this loose end energy this week still needs to be managed all right you still have a lot of solid things coming in all right and so let's just get right into this here scorpio all right with the sun energy <clears throat> let's get some more detail about how things are going to be brightening up in your future darling okay let's do a couple of shuffles here scorpio I feel as if as well, Scorpio, some of y'all's moods are finally going to lighten up in the most, like, in a way where it's like, you know, what this reminds me of, Scorpio, is like some of you guys have been going through like a depression and you know how my honey, my, let's just be adults, honey, right? Right. Let's be real. You know, my peeps that have gone through depression beforehand and like, you don't realize like how bad the depression is until you see yourself on the other side and you're like, oh, wait a minute. Like you're telling me that it's this easy to wake up every single day you know it, this is normal you know that's how i feel like it's gonna be yeah the hermit what did i say scorpio i said that you know it's like sun touching your skin for the first time after being in a basement and can we just acknowledge scorpio like if anyone's gonna be in a basement in the major arcana honey or in the tarot deck it's gonna be the hermit okay <laughs> y'all have been going through a lot of self-reflection some of you guys have been going having some type of identity crisis uh wondering where it is that you're gonna be ha like where your future is gonna be what it is that you're doing for your future i feel like there's a lot of anxiety with that quarter life crisis for my younger folks 
folks out there. Um, Y'all really just went through some type of internal crisis, I feel, and you had to really just like reflect on, just go through really an internal journey. It feels as if you didn't, you couldn't rely on anybody besides yourself, Scorpio. And so you just been, your name, the name of the game for you has just been uh, healing in silence. You've been supporting yourself in silence. No one knows the struggle that you have been going through, or at least to the magnitude that it's been for you of just this healing process and trying to make sense of things in the world, trying to understand why certain things have been happening for you. You have been very, you're most spiritual out of any, uh, Scorpio. And it's, I feel like it's due to the fact that you guys have been feeling a lot more centered with your higher self, with your spiritual team, whatever it is that you align with Scorpio is none of my business. Okay. But I feel like you guys are your most aligned with your true self have been because of just you realizing for the, for however amount of time, Scorpio, that it's just like, Oh, you know, I can't rely on anybody else for my healing. Right. You become, you became your own rescue. That's really what I feel like has happened. You became your own rescue. And then we have this King of Cups coming in here. Yeah, you you guys, Scorpio, you've been playing the poker face, honey, right? No one's been knowing the, the struggles that you've been going through, all right? And can we also just acknowledge Cancer? Why am I wanting to call you Cancer again, Scorpio? I don't know if you have Cancer in your chart. If you do, check it out. But um, Cancer's just been sitting in my head this entire time, Scorpio. And I do y'all's readings first, right? In the water sign. So it's not even because I just did Cancer's reading or something. It's like, y'all are always my first, honey. But anyways, uh, Scorpio, sign energy coming in in the back of the deck things are looking up uh scorpio almost called you again things are looking up scorpio things are looking up big time in fact i feel like the reason why i'm feeling cancer so much is i feel like it's more so just the emotions associated with cancer here and my again my regulars know scorpio that if you know if i misspeak on a zodiac sign i'm never gonna be like oh maybe you guys are dealing with a cancer or whatever it's like no honey i'm human i sometimes misspeak but and you know i don't try to find a purpose in my human flaws when i'm recording honey right they're bound to happen but um i don't try to find purpose in everything but i do feel as if like in this way where it's just like it's like signifying right because people signify cancer as being emotional i feel like this is going to be like an extremely emotional week for you but in the sense of being so emotional of like how proud you ha are of yourself of where you've gone from to where you are now you're proud of the journey you're proud that you're still breathing you're still kicking from that dark period when no one else is helping you you became your own rescue that's really what it is and i feel like it's understandable why you'd be so emotional it's like you became your own rescue and rescue rescue yourself you did you are i'm proud of you scorpio i'm proud of you so let's look at your relationships all right your social relationships let's take a look here uh scorpio so we have here the empress energy coming in here we also have the five of cups okay now this is interesting um here for you uh scorpio because this is giving me a situation where it's like in your relationships like well yes you had to be your own rescue i feel like this also represented to you this sense of like this bittersweetness in uh how you see uh some of the relationships that you've been in for a while for a long time the people that you thought were going to be your ride or die scorpio you got disappointed by the fact that they weren't your ride or die right i feel as if you were uh very underwhelmed by what it is that they would give you and yet honey come on i love it when i'm good at my job scorpio honey i don't know what is in uh the energies today but i feel i just feel it coming today it's flowing so beautifully uh scorpio so yeah the six of pentacles there's been you realize the imbalances that you had with your relationships you realize you were the emotional support for all your relationships in your life and when you needed help scorpio you didn't get that help and so that was not only a very humbling experience for you but it also shows to you like how i feel like you see relationships in your life differently you see family you see friends like you see i feel like you just see the world in such a in a way where it's just like you realize that how humans work and i feel like that's such a scorpio thing to ha go through mentally and i can kind of confidently say it scorpio just because honey i'm a libra scorpio cusp all right so um, <laughs> um as well as like i spent most of my life around most scorpios i have a friend group i used to have a friend group where all like we had a birthday every single day like i scorpios are my ride or dies honey without even trying i always have my life surrounded by scorpios and so i understand you guys but like this would be like the reason i feel scorpio where it's just like where scorpios get their reputation because it's like scorpios are known as like the um like if you hurt them they are just extremely vindictive back and show their stinger 
but the thing is in like the cold sense like cynical sense of how you see the world but i feel like this is the reason why scorpios are where they are because it's just like when you actually trust somebody right because you don't give your trust easily scorpio when you give your trust somebody and then they just do nothing but disappoint you then you're just like oh you know it ain't worth like human human interactions ain't worth it i'd rather just be at home alone with my animals you know i'd rather be home with spirit than connect with unreliable humans that's what I feel like is going on. Anyways, we went off key a little bit, huh? Uh, so let's take a look at just the heads up here, Scorpio, for your life this week. Let's do a bridge shuffle. Okay. Yes, God. Ooh, I love this deck right now. Uh -uh. So let's take a look here. So yes, this is kind of like prepping you for cycles uh, closing off. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me after now we just tapped in deeper to your social relationships here, Scorpio. It wouldn't surprise me if like, because of how you see things differently now, you're probably going to be like going ghost on people and you're going to be going ghost on them to save their feelings because if people honestly wanted to hear Scorpio's truth, you would end up hurting their feelings, I feel. Queen of Pentacles, yeah, because you're going to, by you choosing to do you, you're going to realize more and more what it is that's no longer serving serving you and it took you a while to get to that point knight of pentacles it took you a while to get to that point magician energy and i feel called to yep ace of wands here it took you a long time to get to this point here scorpio and i know for my honeys that i've been with my honeys i guess y'all my honeys now um and also nine of the wands in the back of the deck here very fitting for you um so as i was going to be saying my Scorpios that have been with me since the beginning, right? You can attest to the fact that the one thing I've been saying for about almost a year now, I believe Scorpio was just like, I just wanted to shake you guys because I'm just like, Scorpio, when is it going to be when you start like, stop giving your energy to people who take you for granted and just start living for you? You guys are finally doing that, Scorpio, and it makes me so happy. All right, you, you guys, but it's like, you still need to close off some things, some loose ends here. All right. And so uh, continue on the path that you are doing, uh, Scorpio. You may like, don't be surprised if other people try to call you crazy or instill some doubt in you scorpio but the fact of the matter is you are you know what it is that you're doing and you are just serving yourself first because you became your own rescue scorpio and that's going to stay that way okay honey it's going to stay that way you don't need anybody to help you out anymore darling anyone that's going to be part of your life they're going to be part of your life because you allow them to you give them the privilege to exist with you scorpio so darling that's the reading that i got for you this week honey scorpio so if you enjoyed this tarot reading be sure to check out your sun moon rising and venus sign i also upload a weekly pick a card tarot reading scorpio okay darling so check out those every single sunday if you want to book a private reading with me uh though scorpio check out my website down below simplyvelka.com okay darling um as well if you want to follow me on my social medias tiktok and instagram honey uh it's simply Velka, same as here but uh, i love you so much scorpio and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling